Okay, so let me talk about food. We have somehow got it into our head today that food is bad. Everyone is going keto and low carb and carbohydrates and food and sugar and food is no longer good for you. And we are, we are seeing a spike in things like thyroid issues and other things and we still got obesity and if it was just as simple as avoiding sugar and avoiding fruit then we would all be skinny and healthy but and happy but we're not so in the last few years i have experimented a lot with my diet and as you know i'm gonna keep repeating this one but it's a big chunk of my life is i have a thyroid issue and that was spiked usually through stress and i found out that it's also a genetic thing that pretty much all my aunties on both sides of my families have thyroid issues but i'm not going to accept it and i'm going to do everything in my power in order to make it not turn into a full-blown autoimmune disease because i have a type 1 diabetic sister and they think that's where it's heading so i have now lost 10 kilograms since my thyroid has spiked me above over 20 kilograms of weight gain i stopped looking once the scale hit 80 kilograms because that's was a fun little journey now in the last two and a half so in the last two years i've tried everything to try and lose weight and nothing has worked and now in the last two months i have been using i've been on anthony williams um the medical medium thyroid diet and thyroid healing, heal, healing diet and that is the only thing that i've actually had progress with and it actually worked and i'm down six kilograms in about two and a half months for and for someone with, as you may know that has a thyroid issue that is insane and i put a lot of it down to there's a few basic rules one is nothing processed no dairy no artificial sugar um no gluten um limiting and limiting caffeine and lots of water lots of vegetable juices i have meat maybe once sometimes twice a day things like that so my diet's changed a lot but it's not hard it's pretty simple but one thing i have noticed that's been a huge jump in the diet is fruit i eat so much fruit and i had a conversation with the lady at my work the other day and we're talking about how she sees fruit as bad but sees chocolate bars as good and i have so many clients that have the exact same mentality that they won't binge eat rock melon and watermelon bananas because something in their head has told them that this is naughty and they're not allowed to do this but instead they will find it okay to binge eat chocolate and binge eat like a whole tub of ice cream to fit that craving instead of going for fruit so i'm going to show you a quick video of my breakfast smoothie right now to give you guys an idea of how much fruit i eat just literally first thing in the morning and i snack on fruit Pretty much throughout the day one of my even meals is just fruit now i did film this video yesterday so my hair is a little different good morning time for some breakfast first thing i do every morning after I have a shower and before I eat my breakfast is I have about 16 ounces usually a bit more because I don't measure it of pure celery juice and does it taste good? Eh, it doesn't taste great but you can take it you can pretty much just shot it and take it all in one but I'll do a video later on why I do this but for now cheers this is most of the stuff I put in my morning smoothie but there's still quite a bit more to come this video today i want to talk to you guys about weight loss which is you know the main topic of discussion in today's society in particular fruit people are saying oh i can only have one serving of fruit so they snack on chocolate bars or candy and my suggestion is literally and this is controversial a lot of people don't agree eat as much freaking fruit as you want look how much i want to eat just for breakfast Mango is great for your thyroid, thyroid issues, love your thyroid. Eat your mango, especially when it's in season. About a cup. This is just my breakfast smoothie. That is a whole cup of wild blueberries, wild um, blackberries, cup of cup and a bit of mango, and a full banana just in my breakfast. This right here is pure gold. So what it is, is one of my clients loves to fish and he fishes deep in the ocean in the, well, the wild healthy fishes in Australia and not the processed stuff you get in the shop. Now what he does when he catches his fish, he gets all the bones, all the eyes, all the heads, all the stuff that you usually throw away because it's kind of gross. 
and he makes a fish broth out of it and then he boils it scrapes all the good collagen out freezes it and pass them to me to throw in my smoothie barley grass powder coriander and i'll top it off with some fresh adobe final ingredient is broccoli sprouts Myself. So that gives you an idea of just how much fruit I eat on a daily basis. So what I want you to get to take from this video is I want you to be okay with eating fruit and eat as much goddamn fruit as you want. Now there's different levels of healthy weight loss. If you're calorie counting, if you're comp prepping, if you're trying to be an athlete, then you need to eat your certain macros every single day, I get it. But if you're the average person and you're just trying to be the healthiest possible you can be, and if eating unlimited fruit means that you're not going to eat chocolate and ice cream and crackers and all the crappy things that you see at barbecues or when you're at friends or when you're sneaking eating foods in front of the TV, then I say eat as much food as you want. <laughs>